Daniel Denise is the Australian-born soprano who loves Coldplay, has had a number one album, and who grew up wanting to be Dame Kiri Takanawa. She is also this year's Mostly Mozart festival cover star. This will be the very first time that I will debut as part of the festival. Um, I think it'll be the second or third time that I will sing at the Barbican. Um, but it's a very special opportunity because it's one of the first times that I'll be able to do a, a concert where I can incorporate both Handel, which has been a very important factor in the United Kingdom. Um, and a lot of audiences know me through hearing me in Handel. And one of my strong suits, which is Mozart, which is what I've grown up with. Um, so my program in the concert will consist of both composers, which are very reflective of what I'm doing with my musical study and with my engagements at this time in my life. So it's a wonderful moment to bring all of that together. Well, I thought we could go through today um, the Exultate and just maybe Lovely. one handle. I mean, Exultate is really quite long. Denise has selected a program of popular and lesser known operatic gems by Handel and Mozart. One of my favorite pieces to sing in the world is Exultate. Jubilate, jubilate, jubilate. And when thinking of Mozart, it was really an automatic first choice. In my half of the program, to do Handel and Mozart, I only have about 30 or 40 minutes to do that. So Exultate, I think, is one of Mozart's greatest pieces. And, um, you know, it, it encompasses many different moods as well, which I think is good. And it's, it's very vibrant and good for concert atmosphere. Handel-wise, that was very difficult, actually, because I have so a wealth of repertoire that I've just done on my album and that I've performed on stage. Um, I ended up picking a few things in English and a couple of well-known um, Handel arias like La Chapeau Pianga, so I hope it'll be a good combination. <laughs> a prodigious young talent, Denise grew up idolizing another soprano from the Southern Hemisphere. I started taking classical voice lessons when I was about eight and a half years old, and somebody who was a great model of inspiration to me, and still is, as Dame Kiri Takanoa. She was very, very well known at that time, and really um, a global name, and somebody who was also from the Southern Hemisphere, so I could relate to that growing up in Australia, and also her being somebody of mixed background, as I am, was really a source of um, inspiration on, it, on every level, really. So. Um, I really looked up to her and thought, well, if she can do it, then I can do it. After winning a number of singing competitions at an early age, Denise moved with her family to Los Angeles, where she made her professional operatic debut at the age of 15. Rehearsal is very important and it's a very interesting thing because it is sometimes very tedious. Um, depending on what you choose to focus on in a rehearsal, if you're just running it in order to keep it, keep you know everything going and to memorize it and to see how you sing it and how you pace it throughout a piece, that's one kind of rehearsal. There are other rehearsals when I'm by myself where it's literally singing a few notes over and over again until I put it in the position that I want it to be. Getting there. Oh, yes. I definitely do want to keep singing in Europe and America and not end up singing in only one city. So um, the traveling is something that comes with it. So you just, you accept it. And I, you know, I appreciate very much that I'm able to make a career doing something I love. The Mostly Mozart Festival runs until the 2nd of August. To find out more, go to skyarts.co.uk forward slash Mozart.